Good evening, I'm Alice Gaynor. And I'm Dick Brennan. Welcome to the News at 9 from the air to the ground and almost into the water. Frightening moments at LaGuardia Airport today. Here's a live look at the Delta plane that skidded off the runway this morning. Tonight, investigators are inspecting the plane before they move it. The flight from Atlanta had 125 passengers and five crew members on board. Several passengers were injured, but none of them seriously. Tonight, the airport is back open after being shut down for several hours today. TV 1055's Matt Kozar begins our team coverage. He is live at the airport with the latest on the investigation. Matt? Well, Alice and Dick, we are in uh, College Point, which is across Flushing Bay from LaGuardia Airport. And from where we're standing, we have a direct vantage point view of the crash investigation. We're about a mile away, but when we use the extender zoom on our camera, you can see the Delta plane that pierced the fence, as well as two very large, fully extended industrial cranes that crews are positioning to lift the aircraft and move it back so it could be pulled off the runway. The Boeing plane weighs about 150,000. Pounds. A metal security fence is all that stopped a plane weighing thousands of pounds from crashing into icy waters. 132 passengers and crew on board. Air traffic control immediately called for help. Tower, you have an aircraft off 31 on the North Vehicle Service Road. Please advise Crash Rescue. Luvardi Airport is closed at this time. It felt like a regular landing until it started sliding. I realized that it wasn't going well when we hit a stop, and then I seen water kind of coming up and gasoline running from the wing. Around 11 this morning, during a heavy snowfall, the MD-88 aircraft coming from Atlanta crossed the bay and landed hard on runway 13, which is about 7,000 feet long. Three quarters of the way down, the plane veered left, hit an embankment, and crashed through the fence. The uh, Port Authority police and ARF uh, trained for this uh, repeatedly during the last three weeks. There were two ARF drills here at LaGuardia for exactly uh, this circumstance. Jared Falacy took this photo from his seat in first class. The wheels did not grab, they didn't take, and immediately you, you heard the spinning. We felt like we skid probably for 20 seconds. Um, I grabbed the seat in front of me, started to pray. The plane's emergency chutes did not deploy, so passengers slid down the wings. I guess it was too frozen. The, uh, the, back, the back door was too frozen, so they had to unfreeze it so with water. And no one seriously hurt. EMTs rushed three people to the hospital with minor injuries. Officials not yet saying what exactly caused this crash. The NTSB is sending an investigator here, and they will retrieve the flight data recorder as well as the cockpit voice recorder. Reporting live tonight from College Point, Queens, Matt Kozar, TV 1055. All right, Matt, thank you. Well, most passengers knew quickly something was wrong, saying the landing felt different than ever before. TV 1055, Sonia Rincon spoke with some of them. The pilot hit the brakes and we kind of immediately started skidding, but it didn't feel like a skid. It felt like the pilot was really just exiting the runway to the left, but it was kind of early and kind of fast. And just before the impact... started getting bounced around, and I think that's when everybody realized we're not on the runway anymore. And then they were on the fence. The plane ended up so precariously close to the freezing cold Flushing Bay, passengers were all but certain they'd end up in it. We knew the water was right over the gate, because the only we were going full speed until we hit the gate. What do you think when you see this? Get ready to swim. You thought, thought you were going to have to swim. It's time to get ready to swim. But Ishmael Latif says he's just glad to be dry, warm, uninjured, and on his way. Not everyone was as content. 24 passengers had bumps and bruises, some too shaken to talk about it. Three passengers took rides to hospitals and the ambulances that lined up outside the terminal. Passengers tell us the massive response showed them very quickly that they were safe, and the flight crew knew how to deal with a scary situation. We all went to survival mode, and luckily the crew was pretty good. I mean, they handled themselves very well. They gave good... They gave a good description of what we need to do. And what was that? We got off the plane. Everybody chill out. Chill out. Well, New York Giants tight end Larry Donnell was on board the plane. He wasn't hurt. We caught up with him as he was leaving the airport. Hey, I'm fine. It's happy everybody's all right. I'm fine. Please stand back. Please stand back. Please. I'm fine. I'm fine. Now, earlier today, Danell issued a statement saying, I'm blessed to be safe and sound after our plane skidded off the runway at LaGuardia Airport today. I feel fine physically. We were all shocked and alarmed when the plane started to skid. But most importantly, as far as I know, all of the passengers and flight crew were able to exit the plane safely. And while